Hello and welcome back to this week's market update. My name is Riley Rhodes with Team CR Realty. Before we jump into inventory, if you like these videos, if you find them informational, go ahead and subscribe. It helps us out a ton. Okay, let's jump right into inventory. This week, we are seeing a 6% increase from 14,712 active listings to 15,600. Lots of these houses are still coming to market, but we have seen the percentage of houses coming to market peak a few weeks back when we are seeing double digit increases every week. I suspect this trend will continue for a bit until we see some relief in the mortgage rates for buyers. Something needs to budge because affordability of housing is currently at a 15 year low. There's nothing really new in inventory to report on. We're seeing you know, another increase, but another reminder is it's much easier to buy right now than it was in the past. You can go get your inspection, um, you know, pay appraised price even you know, lower than appraised price because there's just so many houses that are coming to market and because interest rates, because it's more expensive. Go find, you know, if you need to have a house right now, you need to move into a house, you outgrew, your current house or you know you have a family you have a baby on the way go find that house that's been sitting on the market for a bit that fits you and your situation and go make an offer but instead of asking for like a lower price ask for a seller concession which will help you buy down your rate so instead of a you know it's a five hundred thousand dollar house and you say i'm going to pay four hundred eighty thousand go ask for a twenty thousand dollar seller concession instead of lowering the purchase price and you can apply that towards your rate that would be a about a percent difference in your rate from like a 5.8 to a 4.8, saving you a few hundred dollars a month um, by buying down your rate rather than getting a smaller purchase price for that same house. Speaking of these interest rates, the CPI or Consumer Pricing Index, which we're getting our inflation numbers from, comes out tomorrow, the 13th. Be on the lookout for that because that will likely influence the Fed's decision. One person who isn't worried about this inflation is Michael Burry. He thinks that consumers will exhaust their savings this year and they will start spending a lot less and this will drive inflation down and possibly lead to deflation late this year and early into next year. Kind of a crazy thing to say, especially when we're seeing inflation being at such a high point in the past few decades, in the past 40 years, it's the highest point. But he thinks we could possibly see deflation um, in this market because of all the things that are in place in this kind of market and what the Fed's doing with interest rates. But we will see if inflation will react that quickly and steeply to the conditions and if Michael is right about this market. All right, let's get into the Cromford report next. We're sitting at a 156.3 on the CMI or the Cromford Market Index. So that means we have a we have a 1.56 buyers for every listing still. We have a 54.8 on the supply index and an 85.6 on the demand. You can see the demand is in the red right now and this is how skewed our supply really is. If Phoenix had supply before all of these um, external forces came in, we'd be sitting at a buyer's market quite a while ago. And so this is where we're at today. We're seeing the CMI um, go up from, I'm sorry, go down from last week. And um, you know, this is just a, a trend that we will continue to see until interest rates are really uh, you know, changed, until housing becomes a little bit more affordable. If we see a little bit of a correction and interest rates come down, um, this is what we will continue to see because it's just so expensive right now to buy than it was before. Practically, we're still seeing sellers being greedy and listing too high. They may want the same price that you know their neighbors were getting down the street six months ago, three months ago, even last month. This just really isn't the case anymore because the market is having to readjust. Some agents are learning this as well and you're just seeing inventory of houses sit on the market for a lot longer. This is again just because it's more expensive we have more supply than we did at the beginning of the year. We almost have four times as much supply than we did at the beginning of the year. It's crazy. With that being said, in order to list a house right now and get what you're listing it or get what you're asking for, you have to have a strategy in place. You have to have a well thought out plan now 
uh, versus, you know, six months ago, you list it, you put up the MLS pictures, you're getting above asking price no matter what. You don't really have to have a strategy. Anyone could have really done that. But now is the time where you have to really have a strategy. And this is the reason why our team is still getting above ask price because we're coming to market with strategy and little things here and there that get more eyes on the property, more interest, and obviously more money in their pocket. So that's just kind of a shout out for our team. We list well. Um, so if you have any questions about listing, don't hesitate to reach out at all. Thanks so much for sticking around for this week's short market update on the Phoenix market. If you have any questions, as always, go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below. While you're there, hit that like button and subscribe. Don't hesitate to reach out in regards to anything real estate. Our contact info is down in the description down below. My name is Riley with Team CR Realty, where Arizona real estate is seen.